a hockey return and a World Series champion for the Cardinals coming up. Hello again, TTM Nation. My name is Troy Rudder, and I literally wrote the book on autograph collecting. It's called Autograph Collecting Secrets, Tools and Tactics for Through the Mail, In-Person, and Convention Success. You can find it at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or wherever books are sold online. <laughs> it is out there, and thank you so much for the people that have been writing me saying that they picked up a copy of the book. I think that's really cool, so thank you so much. Today, I have a hockey return, some 1982 Fleer returns, and uh, yeah, uh, including a member of the World Series champion St. Louis Cardinals. So let's get right into it with the hockey return. Boom. First we have Bob Carpenter. He signed one of one in 14 days via his home in Massachusetts. The address for him is on Star Tiger. Now he played from 1981 to 1999 for the Capitals, the Rangers, the Kings, the Bruins, and the Devils, and he was actually selected third overall in the 1981 draft. Now, he won the Stanley Cup in the shortened 1994-95 season and later stayed on as a coach from New Jersey. Mr. Bob Carpenter. Next on this badly centered 1982 Fleer card, we have Tom Niedenfeuer. Hopefully I said that right. If not, I don't think he subscribed to YouTube. Anyway, he signed 1-1 one one in 13 days via his home in Florida. His address is also on Star Tiger. Now, he played from 81 to 1990 for the Dodgers, the Orioles, the Mariners, and the Cardinals, and was a World Series champion in 1981 for the Dodgers. He has a win-loss record of 36-46 and 46 with a 3.29 ERA and 474 strikeouts. Tom Niedenfuhr. Next, we have Steve Mura. He signed two of one in 15 days via his home in California. He played from 1978 to 1985 for the Padres, the Cardinals, the White Sox, and the A's. This was the 1982 Fleer for the Padres. And here is the card that he sent me. I think all the Cardinals from this year, <laughs> from 1982, actually have... Uh, one of these special World Series cards. So thank you so much for sending that to me, Mr. Mira. And like I said, he was a World Series champion in 1982 for the Cardinals. It's kind of a fake Topps card, or it's a reprint of the Topps card. And on the back, it says 1982 World Series 30th anniversary on the back. So pretty cool to get that back. Next, we have Randy Martz. He signed one of one in 15 days via his home in Illinois. He played from 1980 to 1983 for the Cubs and the White Sox and only one game for his final season. He walked four and gave up four hits, but it was actually a no decision. Now, he was manager of the River City Rascals for a while and also a coach for the Gateway Grizzlies, Randy Martz. So I hope you have enjoyed those autographs for you today. Definitely happy to get another World Series champion. I'm getting quite a few of those 1982 30th anniversary cards from the Cardinals, which are really cool. I didn't even know those were out there, but a lot of the players seem to just send those back with anything you send. So if you're looking for some of those 1982 World Series champion Cardinals, might be worth it to dig into your, your stash and find some cards and send those out to them because they're signing very, very well. I'm very happy with those. And I'm so happy that I was able to share those with you because Anytime I get to do a video, it's like, ah, ah. it's like a good day. And, you know, it takes a lot of time and effort to put together a video. Um, you know, I know Mike O and Zombie and those guys keep saying, wow, you know, you put a lot of effort into your videos. And that's because you have a choice of who you watch. And I want to make sure that my sound is good and the lighting's good and the cards are scanned well because the cards are the highlight. You know, no one wants to see me. <laughs> no one wants to see me, actually. They just want the cards. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye. Oh,